morning. here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. <sighs> Thank you. So, there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. And, well, there's a boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? should proceed now. I uh, I mean I know what to tell my friend now. Sorry for asking you about such a weird topic. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I, I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead.
I guess saying that only makes you more curious, huh? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sorry about that. So, you might have forgotten all about this, and it's totally fine if you did. But when we were at Yakushima, I said some stupid things. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry. It's been on my mind this whole time. <sighs> you know, I always felt like I wanted to just be normal. I wanted to have a family like all the other kids. Mom and Dad to come home to. <sighs> Why do we have to be different? Why us? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to lump the two of us together. But I feel like you understand and have been looking out for me. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Is that just wishful thinking? <laughs> that's how I really feel, though. Then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Kesara Sara. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift. And I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous. But, supposedly, it's only open at night. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> yeah, there's little kids running around. Ugh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Yes. I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, 
Okay, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Oh, no. It's just, she's always looking after me, so I thought I'd show my appreciation. When I think about what it was like for me, I feel like this is the least I can do. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself, but how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aigis san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. try some more things later on too but for now at least I think I have an idea of how to live my life again you know I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot everyone seems to be really happy when they do too the hard battles continue but we're still able to keep going and it's because we all know when we come back He'll always be there for us. You think so? Well, that's how I feel at least. You're always leading the way and giving everyone courage. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, Sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home?
Tricks. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. Then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. No, and how angry they were. I'd say I probably was at fault here. All right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. Great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in the city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Morning. Hmm. Hey there. Uh. <laughs> yeah.
Pleasant surprise. I am so happy to see you. I am training in the art of sewing. I am in this fashion club in order to own my sewing craft. Would you like to join me? It is Tenoshi. Very fun. If I may be so bold, would you sign up for my club? Honto? Really? Katoji Kanai, many thanks. I am thrilled to have a new member. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I have not made any good Tomodachi friends, so it is very sabishi. Very lonely. Maybe it is because I do not fit in. But now you are here. The divine fates have brought us together. way to say bye to a friend, as in, what is the most culturally accepted? Just to say goodbye, see you later, peace out, tell me to me I understand perfectly. See you later. I forgot all about that guy, I'm not gonna lie. Catching the next. Uh, stay safe out there, lady guys. Peace out.